Hello everyone, welcome back to When Nostalgia Hits. Uh, here we are with another Sega Mega Drive game. This is Super League, as was known in uh, Japan and Europe. And the US was, uh, it was re renamed uh, Tommy Lasorda Baseball. It was uh, developed and published by Sega in 1989. It's one of the first games that came out for the, for the console. And it's actually one of the first games I got. I got it in this early December 1991, uh, which means about five, six weeks after I got the, the Mega Drive in first place. It's a basic uh, baseball game, don't expect too much. Um, so you can actually play entire seasons, though, uh, which is remarkable for the time. And uh, you go through regular season, then you have playoffs, and it works with a, with a um, password based system, there's no memory backup, but it works just fine. Uh, obviously, passwords were pretty long, so it was quite easy to uh, mess it up and uh, don't copy and make mistake. Uh, make me it was easy to make mistake by copying it down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you an open game, which is uh, should be a game against the CPU. Yeah, you can pick a team. I usually picked. In Baltimore, I remember having them having a yellow jersey, and I'm going to play against uh, the New York something from New York Miners. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so um, even if it's uh, an early game, I remember I was I think it was one of the release titles. Uh -huh. More up and down and came out um, by the same time. Um, it is deeper than you expect. Okay, every every player has different stats uh, that affect the, uh, their skills. Uh, pitchers, you get how good they are at curving the ball, how fast they can pitch, how the how reliable they are. Uh, uh, What's their stamina and for fielders? How good they are? They, uh, how good they are at hitting? Uh, how fast they, fast they can throw the ball and stuff like that. And it's, it's simple to play. And so uh, the flags tell you if you, if there's um, wind or not. And you, yes, I remember. I remember that. So essentially, you can move. Okay, just some digitalized speech. You can swing the ball, or you can try to plant. Okay, plant or bunt? Plant. Oh, okay. So there was a, a, a um, if you play, uh, if you do a, an entire season, uh, basically you um, you play the same th team uh, three times in a row, and uh, the endurance carries over the stamina um, of the of the pitchers. Uh, carries over so there was this uh, tactic okay uh, so we you, me and my brothers played this game a lot <laughs> and basically we we had the strategy of uh, throwing away the first game uh, and just having the opponent pitcher uh, to get Actually, to get as many opponent pitchers uh, tired as possible, okay, so that we could have a easier, uh, easier games two and three, and also try to steal the the base. But my man in first is actually pretty slow. Second 
And it's going to be a double play. I ah, no need to because and now we sh and now we pitching. Yeah, you can adjust your fielders and baseman. Okay, and each as a whole. It controls pretty easily. So pitching is uh, essentially okay, you get a call for a fielder. You control just that. Don't have to press anything to make a catch. So uh, when the ball is hit, the announcer gets um, calls your your player. So just previously called the uh, the first baseman, second baseman. Second baseman. Okay, oh. they can uh, either walk to the to the base, uh, pressing the uh, and the correct direction, the D pad. Right. That was a nice strike. And there was a there's a whole thing of based on how good your pitcher is at curving the ball. Right. Okay, you can get. The, uh, the hitter right. Oh. In right where you want him and he won't catch the ball and that's it Third baseman. so the controls are pretty standard okay, for baseball games um, pitching well when hitting, the controls are, are very basic. Okay, you swing, you swing the bat, you decide if you want to move to another base or stay put. In case of fly balls. And in defense is a little bit trickier because it actually um, imagine your d-pad being the inner diamond so if you press down you move or throw the ball toward the catcher if you press up second baseman right first baseman and left first baseman and so it's i think it might take a little bit to at least it took us a little bit to get used to it but uh, after playing other baseball games on console uh, I realized that it was pretty much the standard I think you can even um, dive to make a catch Also, errors and mistakes. To keep things interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. And this is it, essentially. Okay. Or oh, depending on the on the conference you're playing, the there might be um, a designated hitter or the pitcher hits. Goes to the goes on batting. You can change the batter. Uh, or so if you want a, a, someone faster once you reach first base. And, well, if you if you've seen or played a baseball game, you get a pitcher. But yeah it was a fun game we we played this game a whole lot um we never played it uh one against the other uh player versus player because it was it's very easy to trick a, a human player when pitching so essentially we tried i think we tried a couple of times um after getting the game but basically games ended up uh, Neil Neil 
zero zero after nine innings because uh, it was strikeout after strikeout, maybe a, a lucky hit and a run, but no no points. So what is it? I'm glad I could show you because this is one of, of those games like EA Hockey that I had problems running at the uh, at the speed it was meant to be played due to an, an NTC PAL frame rate incompatibility, let's call it that way. Uh, I tried this on the Sega Mega Drive collection, Sega Genesis collection emulator and it was too fast. I'm playing this on RetroArch, uh, the launch box the front end, and there's a setting that you can change to adjust the speed to the correct uh, uh, setting and uh, I was glad I found it and so I'm glad I could show you this game and that's it for now I hope you like this game I hope you find it informative and uh, let me know in the comments if there's a game uh, you'd like to know more if you have anything to ask about this game and so on and so on so you know the grill. Once more, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care and goodbye.